She made her television debut on the CBS hit reality show Survivor Ghost Island and now she is on another <laughs> reality show this time on the CW. It's called Fight to Survive. Libby Vincic is here with us on the red couch. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. This is so exciting and congratulations on the baby. Thank you so much. That was much. one of the questions we had in the newsroom. <laughs> was she pregnant on the show? <laughs> I was like, and we, like, no way we could no. do that. <laughs> no, thank goodness. I was not pregnant on the show. I'm 30 weeks now, but we filmed about a year ago. So thankfully baby was not, it was not present then. Yeah, all <laughs> of us so who hard. have been pregnant know, like you're thinking, okay, how do you, eat bugs and things when you're pregnant. So yeah. that's a no-go. So baby's much happier. That. Yes, <laughs> that you're not eating very that. happy with all the good <laughs> things we're putting in, his, in my body for him. So that's great. But yes, my body was definitely having to eat the bugs, eat the snakes, <laughs> eat all the things that we could find out there while we were filming. So it was tough. So how are these two shows? We know they're very, very similar. How are they different? So Survivor is all about you know, aligning with people and trying to make it to the end. So that's sort of what Fight to Survive is like. However, Fight to Survive, you are all given or every contestant is given a certain tool. And then there are also four resources that you can own. And if you want any of those tools or resources, you have to legitimately fight and beat a drum and say, I wanna fight you for your tool because that will help me survive better. And Survivor, you have challenges and you have food challenges, food reward challenges. We were not given food reward challenges. We weren't given any food, so no rice. And you don't have a tribe that you are like given. You have to sort of decide if you want to survive on your own or align with some people and just figure out how to get through the challenge together. So it's up to you if you want to align with anybody. And that's what also made it very difficult. So what do these fights entail? <laughs> oh my gosh. So. Okay, I will tell you, I did not know that I had to li like literally fight. I knew that it was gonna be something that we had to do, but I didn't know it was going to be that physical. So I'm not a confrontational person. So when we found out what the fights were like, I was like, oh my gosh, what is gonna be my strategy here? But the fights are a nine foot circle, like in every direction, I, I guess. It's a nine foot rope circle, and you have to fight and gain possession of this totem, of this big iron heavy totem and get it outside of the rope. So you can't knee anybody in the head, you can't punch or kick wow. anyone, but you have to <laughs> wrestle them and get sole possession of this and get it outside of the rope. So it is very intense, but you, when you're out there, it, it's so primitive. So you really do like, I mean, I was with what we call, what now is called team fight. I was on team fight. So we were all about the physical, and like just primitive way of living out there. And you're a personal trainer, so I'm sure that helped. We all have to know though about the food, going back to the food. <laughs> so I read that you grew up hunting, fishing, camping. Mm -hmm. That must have helped when you have to find that food. Yeah, you know, I, I have definitely spent time outside and have been around hunting and been around, you know, foraging and things like that. It made me a lot more comfortable out there. And that's what I learned going into this was it's all about finding ways to be comfortable. When you're surviving on an island, you have to mentally be very strong. You can be oh, physically yeah. strong, but mentally you have to be present and aware and find your way of being comfortable, whether it's eating, sleeping, staying warm, all of that. So I was pretty comfortable, like, you know, being outside. They, you, the hunger wears off. You find coconuts. Some people, we would eat like little berry, little like green things off of these ferns or like sea you, hope, nuts. you know it's not poisonous. Right, you <laughs> yes. You do know it's like after being on Survivor too, you kind of learn like what is, we were both in Fiji. So Survivor and the challenge were both in Fiji. And so you learn like, okay, I can eat this, can't yeah. eat this. And there are people out there saying like, don't eat that. Okay, grossest or, thing you right. ate. Um, oh gosh. I would say the grossest thing I ate that would people would find gross were, yeah. was the snake because mm -hmm. you just, you have to, we killed the snake oh. there. We had to skin the snake. You have oh. to put it on the fire of this very dirty 
pan and oh. just eat it. Just like go chicken. at it. You just, that's what I kept picturing. I was like fried chicken. This is just <laughs> fried chicken. It's fine. It's fine. But that was really, I only ate like four days out of the whole time I was there. All right, well, this sounds like an awesome show. <laughs> uh, second episode airing tonight on the Gulf yes. Coast CW, Fight to Survive. And we can watch Libby fight tonight. Thank yes. you so much of for being course. here. Congratulations again. Thank you Exciting. so much. Exciting. And thank you all for trusting WKRG News 5 as your news.